cardinal. <laughs> Forsythia. Signs of spring. Mother Nature has some sense of humor, huh? Every Thursday, Friday, it seems to be spring, and it feels like winter is op over. And then on a Friday, last Friday, for example, again, it was raining, and then it changed to snow. This is Saturday morning at Stowe. <laughs> I left a half a foot of snow at Stowe to go to Bodie Fest at Cannon Mountain, where it was midwinter. Fast groomers and an inch or two of snow at Cannon, but what a fun day. Bodie Miller, Miller, Turtle Ridge Foundation, Greg Keeler, JD, what a great day. Way to keep the snow in great shape in those views. And they came back to Vermont and it was still midwinter packed powder, Sunday, Monday. Are we on a streak of great Tuesdays? That's when it turned into corn snow. Harvesting the corn was a blast, sunburn weather. And then of course, it is April after all. So what's gonna happen next? Pretty much the same rhythm. It's Thursday, it must be warming up. There are raindrops in the mountains, snowing on Mount Washington. Thursday night, kind of tricky. The cold presses back in out of Southern Canada. Actually snows at the top of the mountains in Northern Vermont, Northern New Hampshire, up into Reggae Fest at Sugarloaf. There may actually be a couple of inches of real dense snow on top of the morning, uh, during the morning. And then probably some rain showers, snow up top uh, as the uh, music gets cranking up for your Saturday afternoon. And uh, Sunday's probably a fairly wintry day at the tops of the mountains. There's the Saturday map, all those different colors. Look at that, the green uh, is some rain and mixed here in the Northeast. It's snowing all the way down to Tennessee. That colder air comes in from the Southwest. That's why I say Sunday uh, may have these snow levels coming down to maybe even a thousand feet. And it doesn't look too windy on our Friday or Saturday, but it does look very windy on Sunday afternoon. And then uh, many ski areas shutting down, but I'm not sure. I, I think I might go skiing again. Next weekend is the last weekend at Stowe. And uh, Easter, uh, between now and Easter, next Wednesday, probably going into the 70s here in Southern New England, and then probably rebounding back down. Cold again, it could be snowing in spots again for Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so again, this weekend, let's see, Sugarbush Spring Fling, J Vertical Challenge Season Finale, Sugarloaf Reggae, so many fun things going on, so many pond skimming things going on. I dress more for March weather than April weather until the middle of next week, then the feel of summer. We're not done yet here, although surf looks good tomorrow. Clean, head high at Nantasket. We'll see you on the slopes before going to the beach. Nice. What's your name, where are you from? My name's Will and I'm from Vermont. Will from Vermont. Any special runs today? Uh, goat is pretty good. It has some powder on it, a little bit of ice between the moguls. Pretty good sized moguls, not too much ice. Lift lines getting pretty skied off between the ice and you can start seeing the groomers. But if you stay over on the moguls, it's pretty nice with the powder. Did and you then just ski a, a trail for the first time in your life? Yes. What trail did you ski for the first time in your life? Goat and lift line. The same run? How'd you mm -hmm. get into goat? Right there? You can get into goat right there, and then after that, you can go to midway, and then you can keep going off to midway, and then you can hike up a little bit to get back onto the little head wall of the farm. Mind if I ask your age? I'm 12. 12. This is Will from Hardwick, Vermont. I think this is second time on goat. We just met on the chair, and he said, You want to ski goat with me? He said it was powder, and he was right. Thank you, Will, for this advice. Future snow reporter Will from Hardwick, 12-year-old ripper. April 3rd, sugar slalom happening across the way. Can you believe how nice it is after all the meltdowns we've had? <laughs> 